Dear all, welcome to our new tutorial dedicated to Autodesk Tinkercad 2021, an online CAD tool completely free to use. In just nine minutes, we will see everything you need to know to start using it. Autodesk Tinkercad is a free online CAD tool for everyone. It is the best choice to learn CAD for the first time, but also a great solution to bring experiments and ideas into life with 3D printers. It is 100% safe to use for kids. To start working on Tinkercad, just open its page and perform a login. The first time, you may need to register any email address to create an Autodesk account. At this point, you can start building several kinds of projects, including 3D CAD designs, electrical circuits, or animations with code blocks. In this beginner tutorial, we won't see the circuits since they require basic knowledge of electronics. Select 3D Designs and click on Create New Design to start. You will get a main preview with several buttons on top and other features on the right panel, which can be hidden if necessary. From this panel, you can browse for loads of ready templates from basic geometrical shapes to 3D text, letters, numbers, character design home design, and much more. You can also use the Import button above to start from any 3D project you have. Let's start adding any basic shape. Just select it and place it on the preview with your cursor. To drop it correctly, you can right-click and drag to 3D Rotate and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Once the object is placed, you can click on it to select it and adjust its properties from the dialog box on the right, such as radius, smoothness, length, width, and height. You can also click on solid to select its color and transparency level. You also have the whole option, but we will see this one later in this video. Other templates can work differently. If you drop any scribble, the workspace will change in order to ease your brush on a 2D environment. You can always check its 3D result in the top right corner. At the bottom, you can use the Erase tool to remove any brush and the Shape tools to either brush or erase complex shapes by varying the current radius. Use Done to apply All and come back to the main workspace. If you see that the camera is not centered on the current object, use the F key. Select Text to drop any 3D text. Then adjust Color, Text Content, and its font on the right. Other templates such as the ring, give you the possibility to customize its section as you like. Now let's see how to edit these objects. Select any and click and drag it to move it. Consider that the object remains attached to the ground, here represented by the blue work plane. Tinkercad also gives instant measurements, starting from the dashed object base and taking the unit defined from Edit Grid in the bottom right corner. You can choose millimeters, inches, and also resize the main blue work plane if you need some more space. You can also move by holding down the Alt key to make fast copies from the current object. If you make any mistake, you can use the Undo and Redo buttons to undo and redo actions, or the Delete button to remove the selected object. You can also edit the object using its nodes. Hover over these to get instant measurements on it and drag from these to resize or rotate. Use the white nodes to resize freely, holding down the shift key to save the original aspect ratio, whereas use the black ones to resize through a single direction and the black cone on top to adjust the height in respect to the ground work plane. You can also use the arrows to rotate 
to the internal or external circle to change the rotation snap. Also, when you move and resize, Tinkercad applies snappings by following the work plane grid. You can adjust these or turn it off by going to Snap Grid in the bottom right corner. You can also use the R key to drop any ruler. This can be useful to take any relative distance under control. The work plane is a very important element, fixing the reference plane to take when moving or editing. If you click on work plane and then on any object face, this will be taken as reference, becoming a work plane in orange color. At this point, any action is made by taking such new plane as reference, easing the design process and taking everything under control thanks to the blue projections on it. You can come back to the original work plane by enabling work plane and clicking on any empty space. As you start getting lots of objects on the project, you can manage these with the two buttons in the top right corner. The first one locks the object, preventing any modifications on it. The second one hides it until you click on the light button above. Now let's see how to design complex object shapes. If you click and drag over the interested objects, you will select these all together so that you can move and edit these in the same way. If you also click on the Group button, you will create a unique object from these. This allows to make complex shapes in case you have these objects overlapped. You can undo all using Ungroup. Moreover, if you set any object as whole and group this object with a solid one, you will subtract the first one from the second one. This way, you can extract complex shapes in no time. Always use Ungroup to undo. Another useful feature is the possibility to add comments. Just click on Notes and then on any object to type in. As you work on the project, make sure to check it from different perspectives with the 3D View Cube. You can also take a look at your project on a Minecraft or Lego Blocks world. Check these out. Your project gets saved automatically by Tinkercad at each step. You can also use Send To to share your project on Forms or on Autodesk Fusion. If you return to your account dashboard, you retrieve all your projects made on Tinkercad with a fast preview over these if you hold with your cursor. You can click on any and use the download button to export your whole 3D project in several formats for 3D printers, including .stl and .obj. You can also export as .svg to make 2D laser cuts. Moreover, you can make code block projects to make your design animated. By dragging and dropping actions in the correct order, you can make and edit objects, wait dead times, or calculate math to process operations. The result is an animated flow from shape creation to its animation from start to finish. This is all you can do with Tinkercad. To get more help, Make sure to take guided lessons from Tinkercad from either your dashboard or the dedicated Learn page. Inside Gallery, you can also pick and start from any project made by the Tinkercad community. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Visit our YouTube channel for more software completely for free.